Yo guys, what is up? So today we're gonna have a little fun quest to iRacing. We're gonna try 120 hertz mode. Um, I never race in this mode. I always use 72 hertz and I usually run it at like the highest resolution. Um, I'm usually between 1.3 and 1.5. So I'm pushing this headset to the to the limit. Um, I'm running an RTX 3080 GPU, an Intel i7 10th gen CPU and 32 gigs of RAM. And I run very well at 72 hertz. Um, with full settings on. But today we are jumping in at 120. We are going to the ren the render resolution that they recommend, which is 2816 by 1424. So this is way, way low. I'm expecting this thing to look terrible, but we're looking for smoothness. And let's see if it's even worth it to ever run at 120 hertz. But I'm generally more graphical pleasing, especially when it comes to VR. So let, let's hop in. Let's hop into the X Xfinity cars. We'll hop into Michigan. And we're going to see... Um, is it worth it to really push those frames? I, I have no problems at 72 hertz. Um, I have been switching to my Rift S lately. So I've been pushing, you know, that, that runs 80 hertz and it runs super smooth. Um, I think you can really run good graphics as well on the Quest 2 at 80 hertz on a good on a good GPU, of course. But let's see what let's see what we can do at 120. I haven't played around with 120. Um, a lot of people feel like you have to run the highest frames per second on VR. But I'm telling you, 72 for me is super smooth. I have no complaints, but we're going to push 120 right now. So let's see what we got here at Michigan. So let's go into our settings. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna push this up to max quality. Now, you can obviously raise these up more from where max quality is. But because my resolution is so low right now, um, I think we can actually push this a little bit. Um, sharpening, I have to have sharpening on. It's very important. Night racing, I think when sharpening is off, everything looks really blurry, especially... You know, I just feel like you have to have that on in VR. So we're gonna we're gonna put it on the default settings at max quality, and let's see let's see what we're running. If you look at these numbers here, that's our frames per second, and the R represents your CPU power, and that's a 2.3 right now. But we haven't started racing yet. Anything under 12 is actually pretty good. So what this is telling me, if we run here while we're actually running at these settings, um, the G represents your graphics uh, card, so that's also at a two. So anything below 12, like I said, is good. So I think we're actually going to be able to pump up the resolution a lot more than where we are. But I want it to go to the lowest where it's recommending that we actually be. And that's usually just that it's a 1.0. So it's not any kind of higher sam super sampling or anything like that. So that's just showing you where one is. Um, so let's let's hop into this practice. Again, graphics are graphics are high. We're now at the track with 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 we're throwing fours and threes up there, which is still pretty good. Now, of course, the resolution is the resolution is terrible. Um, is it playable? It's definitely playable. Um, it's just not it's just not sharp. It's not clear. I'm also getting I'm also getting some glitching. I don't know if it's actually going to come out in the recording, where I'm getting like screen tear and glitching right now. And I don't know if that has to do with the resolution, with the recording, or or what or what that has to actually do with. But we 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 are running a solid 120. Um, is it worth dropping? The question is: Is it worth dropping the resolution to this to run 120? And my answer to that is absolutely not. Absolute, absolutely not. Um, the The resolution is so low, um, and it's just not. I just, I just don't see it worth it to get 120 at this resolution. And of course, if you're running, if you're running a lower graphics card, again, 3080 is pretty powerful, so you can run pretty good VR on it. But if you're running a lower graphics card, you know, uh, my recommendation would be. Lower, lower, lower to 72 or 80. Um, pump up the resolution as high as you can actually make it. Because I, I think a clearer experience is, is, is going to definitely be the way to go. Again, it, it's running smooth. Is it, is it, does, does it feel better to me than, than when I run at 72? And to be quite honest, it, it, it kind of it doesn't. I, I think running at 72, it, it's super smooth for me. But we're gonna we're gonna pump up the resolution. We're gonna actually see what we can actually push this to. 
running at this resolution, I, I will not recommend it to anybody. It is it is so the lines, the jagged lines, the res. Oh, it's just it's just bad. It's just bad. So let's let's see what we can actually do. Let's see what we can actually do at a higher resolution. We'll come right back to this track. So we were over here before at a one X, and it was twenty eight sixteen by fourteen twenty four, and we pumped it up to a one point three right now. So we're at thirty six sixteen by eighteen. 40. Um, it should look a definitely look a little bit better for us. Um, definitely, you know, clearer, better resolution, of course, because we pumped up the resolution. But we also want the smoothness. So can we run at a 1.3 at 120 hertz on an RTX 3080 is the question. And again, the Quest 2 is, is it, it requires a lot of power. So if you're running a lower GPU, you know, don't don't go looking to run 120 frames per second. I definitely don't recommend that. Stick to your 72 or 80. Pump up your resolution to as high as you possibly can. Um, so right now this looks this looks much better. Um, we're, we're probably going to struggle. We are still in we are still in a higher graphic setting here. We're going to leave it here. Um, let's do a lap and let's watch our numbers and see what we can what we can run here. Definitely definitely looks much better. Um, it's extremely more noticeable in clarity. Is it perfect? Not perfect. We're still running really good numbers at 1.3 to 120 hertz. I definitely think this is this feels more doable to me than where we were. And numbers are really still low, which is kind of it's still looking really good. So let's do a let's do a let's do a lap here. And I'm gonna show you, you know, what this actually looks like. Our numbers are still keeping up there. I'm pretty shocked right now, actually. We can actually pump this up even higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what we can actually push this to. But right now our numbers is still really low, 120, and we're running at max quality. I wasn't expecting to to still be smooth like this. But let's uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push this. We're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna push this even higher because my numbers is still looking really good right there, which I'm actually really surprised. Um, but maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Maybe we'll go to like a 1.4 or 1.5 on the graphics. Let's let's park it right here. Pump this up. We're at 1.3 right now. So let's go. Let's go. Um, there's a couple of levels of 1.3, um, but we're gonna jump to 1. Point, we're gonna let's not let's not skip. Oh, well, should we go to? Let's go 1.5. Maybe we'll end it here. Let's see how good we can do it. 4128 by 2096. Again at 72 hertz. I run it at 50. 408, 2736 at the best. And usually I don't go below 13, which is 4864 by 24 by 48, um, which is a 1.7 at 120 hertz. So it's just showing you, you know, how much you're really pushing that that power there. So we're gonna drop it, like I said, to a 1.5 and we'll save and restart and come right back. All right, so now things are actually starting to look good. Um, it's definitely more clear in the headset for me. Um, this would be a setting I'm, I'm pretty comfortable running. So we're going to see how good we can actually run in game. But the clarity right now is definitely is definitely good. I can see the text as well. Um, I think I'm, I'm thinking we're going to struggle a little bit in the game on the high settings we have, but it might I might get shocked. So let's 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 see what we got. It might surprise me. Am I still going to run at 120? I, I don't think so. Uh, you know, maybe maybe I'll, I'll play around more with 80 and, and 90 at this point. But but. I always feel like I, I don't want to drop the resolution for frames because I think at 72, like I said, it still feels really good. But let's let's see what we got here at 120 at, at a much higher resolution. We're running a 1.5 times on an RTX 3080, and those numbers are going to vary depending on your system. What my what my resolution is now might be different on your system, so just just know that depending on your GPU. I'm thinking that those numbers change of of how many times you're going past that one point that one point X. But now, now it looks good. This looks clear. Like this is playable. This is a playable view for me. Um, the resolution is good enough to actually play in. But we're gonna see if it's actually smooth enough to play in. But this is totally, totally playable. But I think you can actually see it. Um, let's see. Let's see. We're at a hundred and we're at a hundred and and nineteen. Hundred and nineteen is hundred and twenty, guys. J just know that it's not that you can't hit that extra frame. Um, it just that's where it locks in at 120 in, in iRacing, and our numbers are our numbers are still low, which is kind of surprising. This resolution this resolution is is doable to me. This looks good actually. Um, I can I can definitely play here. 
with these settings, this this is playable to me. Bef before where we were was not really playable, especially at the 1.0, it was totally not not doable. The 1.3 was was definitely better, but right now this is actually this is a playable resolution. Um, th this is definitely definitely good. We're gonna um, I'm gonna come out of this. I'm just gonna show you how you can actually if you really really want to throw on 120 and you're running a lower system. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what this actually looks like when you turn everything off. And this goes for any other VR headset. If you have a lower end system and you want to run a VR headset. Um, first off, I would definitely recommend going with a dedicated VR headset, like a, like a Rift S if you can find one. If you're running a lower end PC, it'll definitely run better because it's a dedicated PC VR headset. Um, so it doesn't require as much power from your computer. And the good thing with iRacing, it, it lets you actually, it lets you turn everything off, which is insane. Um, you can basically run like a bare bones racetrack. And this is what it's going to look like. If you had to be in VR, you know, is, is it worth it if you're running a low NPC to run in VR with with everything turned off where this, you know, the track no longer looks like the track we were just racing on. It literally just got rid of everything. But this might be worth it to you in order to run VR, to turn everything off, to run a smooth experience. Because um, running in VR is definitely way, way different than a single monitor. But as you can see, everything is, nothing's here, all right? It, this, is, this is a very naked racetrack. But... Do, do, do you need all that stuff? Maybe. Um, I, I, I would choose choose it if I can have it. But would I, would, I, would I sacrifice VR and play a single monitor if I didn't have the, a PC powerful enough? I, I, that's a tough decision and, and one that you'd probably have to make. But I actually think I would choose VR and turn these settings down as long as you can run it at a, at a decent resolution. Now, obviously, there's like, you know, your markers and, and just your surroundings are way different, so you'll have to get used to it. You know, knowing your turns and what turn you're coming up to might might take a little getting used to because you know you don't you don't have your your grandstands where you know you're coming up to and where you can start doing things like that. Um, usually, you know, very often I race with my surroundings, knowing where I am. So it's it's definitely way different, way getting used to. But to me. To me, to me, VR is 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 definitely it, it's pretty amazing with eye racing and, and def, definitely makes a VR headset worth it. I, I don't do any other real you know, other gaming with the VR headset outside of eye racing, and and it's totally worth the investment just for eye racing. Um, I actually think it, you get your money's worth. You will be using it way often, but we are running solid right now. You can see. So I can I can actually pump my I can actually pump the resolution way up now even higher if I'm gonna run with all this stuff turned off but it's running super smooth um, it feels good I I am not getting that that glitching I was getting before which I don't know if it had to do with such a ro ro low resolution with with eye racing and that glitching but I'm not getting that glitching anymore that was just that was just a little some fun little demoing. I look those those numbers are really low right now. Obviously, the more cars you have on track, it'll 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 push that your your power a little bit more. But 120 hertz, so I, I think um, I I showed myself something. 120 hertz is definitely playable and doable at some good settings at good resolutions. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. A little demoing of 120 120 hertz on the Quest Two, um, something that I haven't done before for my own I, I haven't even tested it for myself so it is definitely playable will i ever play it maybe maybe i'll hop into it for some fun just to see but otherwise guys don't the video subscribe appreciate you watching let me know in the comments what resolution and 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 hertz that you're running at your frames let me know um if you have a quest to what you're running at and like i said i'm happy at 72 with with graphics pumped all the way up highest resolution but this was totally playable totally fine looking good no complaints i can totally hop into a race and be completely satisfied at this resolution at 120 frames i'm actually a little shocked at what i actually saw that it was this good but anyway guys thanks for watching out of here peace